Diamond Draft Sapphire. I would say like in a month or so they'll come out with it. That'll be fun. I think sooner, actually. I think it's on the it's on the horizon. People are saying nice things about it. Six times oh, it in the is. dice. That's good to know. One, know. two, three, four. Yeah, uh, supposedly. I was going to say, it's usually a month after the release. It's going to be a little over a month after the release. Six yeah. times in the dice. Supposedly, they said it's similar to Top's Chrome Update Sapphire. I feel like the same person that but, created but it. Auto? I think one for box. They, they, they're they going to kill it again. Draft it. Usually yeah. it's not an auto. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. It's not an auto. It's an auto. It's I think it's one auto per box. Is that correct, guys? Bowman Draft Sapphire is one per box? Somebody was telling me that the other day. And did, did you announce what's happening next Friday or not yet? No. Do I even know what's happening next Friday? I can't remember. I don't know what's I happening next Friday. You told me and I forgot? Yeah. I forgot. I don't know. What's happening. Tell them. You going to tell them? You do tell them. I don't remember. I can't. I told you today. I, can't, I smoked what? a lot of weed. I can't remember. I swear to God, I have no idea what you're talking about. So most likely a week from Friday, and it's going to be the most loaded one ever, is the next repack. Oh, yes. No, yeah, he did tell me. I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> the repack. The next repack <laughs> is forgot. probably a week <laughs> from Friday, and I'm not just saying it. We don't, our repacks, everyone just says, oh, they're the best repacks. Oh, ours loaded. Oh, the value's there. No, ours is actually really amazing. I'll guarantee it. This is going to be the best baseball repack in the history of this industry. Wow. I'll guarantee it. That's strong. But the, the, but the, but the thing is, the thing is, though. Not yet, Ice Tray. But I will say, it's not that hard to make it the best one. But it, it's going to be so much better than other ones. Because everyone's, is, for the most part, terrible. You know so what? It's not, the, it's not easy to make them better. But ours are going to be, like, way better. So, by the way, do you know, I don't know if Backer told you yet. But Backer and I, we came up with an idea for... Remember, you may have seen it in the chat. Did you see this? You know what I'm going to say? I don't know. Pleasness thing? <laughs> you say a lot of stuff sometimes. That's true. We So, uh, apparently, Backer and I, we were we were literally, there was one day before he went to Japan where, I'm not even kidding you, we were on the phone till like, 7 in the morning, and and we came up with this idea of Pleasness tea, like Dynasty, but for Blez. Oh. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do, like, a repack, but it's going to be only five cards. And they're all gonna be. It's gonna be like, like four like really good cards, and then like one nuclear card. It's gonna be oh, like. Oh, I thought he meant like. No, just that's what he meant. No. no, 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 oh. no, no, no. Like our where it's gonna be a Blez repack, but it's gonna be five cards in the repack in each in each repack, and it's gonna be like like there's gonna be one card in every repack where it's gonna be worth at least a couple grand. Like every single repack. That's there's, insane. There's gonna be like. The, the sharps are coming in for the ten caser. Are yeah, ten in? caser is going today, Mo. Yes, like that's. Ooh, we have a little baby. A little N forty three. There's, there's at least one or two Otani's. Uh, Hawk does all the buying. I, I, I don't. I, I don't want to know what's in it because I'm the one yeah. that's going to open it. So no, don't that's, tell the, that's the thing. They trust. Like we don't like revealing what's in it. It's like, but Hawk does all the baseball buying. He makes the baseball one. I do the basketball and the football. But yeah, Otani's in there. Everyone's in there. It's just who's going to hit these guys. Both pick your players are going tonight. The two case of Bowman Chrome Sapphire. You can, you can, mod, you can mod Mo last. He's my boy. And the 10 caser of Top Scrum Black. All right, Mo, you're getting the mod. Yeah. What's up, Mo? Mo S! My boy! I do want Pop Century. Stone Ninja's is right. With Mo S. I, he's one of my basketball guys. I told him, like, the bounty's too big not to join it. You have to just get in there, yeah. And then the funny thing is, he bought my favorite player growing up. Right, like, like it was Who'd he buy? He bought my favorite player growing up, like, out of all the players. I'm trying to think. Bernie, Paul O'Neill. Yeah, Who was Bernie it? Williams. Bernie was for my first guest. <laughs> wow, I didn't know. Yeah. That's great. My first guest, Bernie Williams. I knew it had to be a Yankee. I was going to guess yeah. Matt Suey, but I don't think he's in the product. Like, he doesn't know who Bernie Williams is. He's just bought him. Bernie! <laughs> he doesn't know who he is. And he probably yeah. thinks he's buying yeah. Bernie 718 cards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's actually 718. That's Bernie 718. Ooh, That's what you actually card. bought. Bernie 718, automatic sharp. <laughs> you know, yes, we don't have any more. Ooh. Mo S's goal in life is to be a sharp. You know, because when I'm on, we have the non sharps, the semis, and the sharps. Most people are non sharps on our channel. Timber on the Ginter. <laughs> it's all right. There's a rip card in there. We're safe. Um, we have sharps. There's sharps everywhere. But, uh, no, Hawk but, doesn't know who Keanu Reeves is? What? Out of all three channels. Well, you've never seen Gladiator, bro. 
that of all three channels... How have you never seen Gladiator? The sharp rate is obviously the highest on baseball. We know that. Trust me. Close. They know they're, they're, they're the smartest over here. Yeah, they know it. They are. They're sharp. We'll admit it. They're sharp. You hear that, guys? Baseball. Like, sharp. Athletics not sharp, though. Bowman Draft Sapphire. Yes. Yeah. Wait, but so... Guys, it's not a joke. This repack that we do, it's... He put a, he's been putting it together the last couple months. This is going to be the best baseball repack. If you like the last one, which obviously you did, it's going to be a lot better. He's honestly. put a lot of time into this That's one. That's what I'm he's saying. He's put like quadruple the amount of time. Yeah, so it's like it honestly is going to be the best baseball repack. If you, it's like a better version of the last one. That's just what it is. It's he's spending like four times as much time. Yeah, it's a better version of the last one. Like, and I'll guarantee that it's a much better version of the last one. And I'll yeah. guarantee it. So, so Hawk and doesn't. The, and the last one is, I would bet that the last one was better than basically everyone else's repacks. I'm sure this. Hawk's That's repacks are saying. amazing. I, I honestly am still hung up on one thing though. I'm confused as to how Hawk does not know who Keanu Reeves is, and you've never seen Gladiator. So I saw, I saw the Matrix. You've seen the Matrix. No, so you know who Keanu, Keanu Reeves is one of my favorite movies ever. Which one? Ooh. What do you think? What, and it's actually a baseball movie. This is a good pack right here. Why is it like this? Because there's going to be a thick card in there. That's like. Oh, is it a book? Do they have booklets? There's all sorts of stuff, bro. It could be. This could be like. It's it's like a favorite to be an instrument. But it could be like dinosaur oh, DNA it, or something like whatever. If it's something good. Oh, you, can't want to show it. Yeah, don't show it. I'm just going to put the pack over there. Do we'll you, just leave you know that back there. You the rip, the rip video has? It's crazy, I know. And I didn't even, that was my that's, first rip ever. I didn't even know how to, to rip it. it. I said, I, that's, what, that's part of the reason. I said we had to do it. They love rip cards on social media. Dude, they do love the rip you know cards. I just it felt, it has like half a million views or something. But I, I felt, thought it was 200,000. I, I don't know, I haven't checked in it's a while. It's at least 200. Yeah. But, I, but what I'm saying is I can't, like, you know, I'm just saying like I didn't know how to rip. That was my first ever rip. You know that, right? That was the first time that I ever ripped a rip card out of Alan and Gifford, that video. I had never ripped a rip card, okay. ever. That was my okay. very first one. I had no idea what I was doing. I was asking the chat, like, how do you rip it? They were, like, telling me how to rip the card. They were, like, pull the tab, take this. I like, yeah, And I, like, destroyed the card. I, like, took, like, the whole back off and everything. Like, you don't need... Now I know you don't need to do that. It's funny. But it's kind of funny. Probably over, Bard. If I had to guess, over. Bless you, Smith. <laughs> it's alright, I'll make sure Espliz watches Gladiator. Unacceptable that he hasn't seen Gladiator. Yeah, it's probably over, bro. This is, I think this is going to be a really good three-box random team, by the way. Of Allen and Ginter. This is random team number five. While we're hanging out here chatting with the great Esplez and discussing all our wonderful plans of the repack and Blesnesty and all this stuff. I think I think we're gonna have a really nice three box random team here. You haven't seen Godfather? But that's a little different. At least it's an older movie. My dad like made me watch like all those famous old movies when I was a kid. Casablanca, Gone with the Wind, Lawrence of Arabia. Like I've seen it all. My dad like made me watch all that stuff when I was a kid. But part of part of that's great because that's why I got to see some amazing movies. Like one of my my favorite movie is Chinatown. I would have never seen that if my dad didn't make me watch that. Great movie. All right, here we go. Pinky and the Brain. Alan Ginter, what's up, man? You leaving? Are you leaving? Hold on a second. Yeah, Bronx Tale's a great movie. It's all about the uh, the, the door the door trick the door the door quiz. Here we go. Love Chinatown. It's my favorite movie, Bard. Here we go. It's Alan and Ginter. Three box, random team number five, and final. We don't have any more of the Allen and the Gints. That's okay, though. Then you guys won't hear me say Pinky and the Brain all night. No more Allen and the Ginter. No more and then. And then. No more and then. 
Ooh, we have an auto, an early auto. Hold on, let's put this down. Let's put these minis here. Clear the handful, clear the mechanism, and then we'll show the ink. We have an early auto in this three box random team. Oscar, who got the non baseball spot, by the way? Less. Hold on, there was an extra card there. Less gets the non baseball spot. All right, let's see who the ink is. Upside down. Oh, that's sweet. Bryce Young. Wow. Bryce Young Auto. That's really cool. A Bryce Young Auto out of Allen and Ginter. I don't know if we're getting any, Kevin. I asked. I asked about it a moment ago. That's a really cool hit, is right. Bryce Young Auto. Bryce Young Auto? Yeah, bro. Out of Ginter. That's awesome. I know, you heard me shouting like Bryce Young. You're up. like, he's not doing football today. Well, like, am I missing something? Yeah, this is a really good auto. Oh, look at him. He looks like a That's great. stud, too. He looks like a kid. <laughs> and he signed it He signed it nicely. That's it's a great card. card. That's actually sick. Yeah, Wes, that's a huge so hit, bro. Oh, oh yeah. wow. Dude, the, the non-baseball non spot. It's the is best like, spot. This yeah. is a random team three boxer. That is the best spot. I feel like Wes is going to kill it right now. That's so funny because you just did that. That's awesome. All right, I probably won't see you again before I leave, so goodbye. I'll see you on the Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. That's true. We hit amazing football cards even on the baseball channel. All right, filigree foil of Glaber. Timmy H. The, the big three on the mini. Wemby base. Picardo. Olivia, college baseball player. On the relic piece. Well, babe. Jay Walker on the base. Hey. Kyle Schultz. Professional wiffle ball player. That's unnumbered to 50. Numbered but unnumbered. If you know, you know. And I am actually out of these little guys. Let me go grab some more. Hold on. Be right back. Damn, you're killing it, Les. I just realized this goes to you also. Unnumbered to 50 on Mr. Kyle Schultz, professional wiffle ball player. You're actually literally killing it on this three box random team. Ooh, woo hoo. Wow, I didn't know that, Brewers. That's actually sweet. It's probably what Hawk is watching right now at home. There's Jason Kendall on the filigree foil. I remember when Kendall hurt himself, man. That was like one of the most gruesome injuries I've ever seen. I got a relic piece in the back of my handful here. Is that a relic piece or are you just happy to see me? Let's see. Joey Vato, bat piece. For the Reds, going to big air chair.
more minis falling out. Many, many. Ooh, I see a rip card in the back of my handful. We got a rip card coming up. Rip it. Rip it. I love the rip cards. They are super fun. Now that I know. Speaking of minis. Falling out. Corbin on the base. Rip for the Yankees. Reasonable weight, too. Obviously my favorite number. 16 out of 99 on the Garrett Cole. Rip it for Golfer Bess. Golfer Bess. Mm -mm -mm -mm. As the great Glenna would say, eat it up. Mr. Bass. Garrett Cole to 16 on the rip card for the Yankees. Filigree foil of McClanahan for the Rays. Another relic piece here. Relic piece. Hey, it's a good one. Otani. Otani for Big Air Jer on the rip. Or, sorry, on the uh, relic piece. Sick heart. Or this is a really good three boxer. Really, really good three boxer. It's a really good three boxer. We're not even, we're like basically at the halfway point now, too. And we have that one thick pack. Relic piece of Avaris for the fish. Both pick your players are going tonight. The 10 caser of black and the 2 caser of sapphire. We're going to focus our attention on those. Very, very, very soon. As soon as like after this break, most likely. High, high, high probability that, that we focus on the two pick your players coming up, those two breaks. Corbin. Filigree foil of Cavalli. I'm not talking about Roberto. I'm talking about Cade for the Nationals. Minis coming out. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Gunner. And then Bell again. Mandy. This time no auto, just a relic piece. Hit Mandy's ink in the previous break. Not nearly enough, Hoban, that's for sure. I was thinking about that earlier today. Not nearly enough. I'm going to play a lot during the World Series. Um, I have, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be playing some, hopefully some extremely, 
I, I actually, hypothetically, I will be playing the highest stakes I've ever played in my life during the World Series this summer. And I've played some really high stakes. But I'm going to play uh, the 3,000, 6,000 cash game, mix games, for probably two months straight. And I'll skip tournaments this summer. That is the plan. And yes, obviously, I'm staked for that game because I don't have $20 million. So. But I'm looking forward to that a lot, Hoven, big time. I'm very much looking forward to playing this summer. I, was, I could just do a full schedule of tournaments like I did last year, but I think for the first time in my life, I'm going to just play cash games all summer. I've never done that before. Never done that. And I probably, after doing it this summer, I bet I never play tournaments ever again. <laughs> You'll see. How many hits per box of which? Of a. Uh, of which product, Kevin? Topps Chrome Black, Allen and Ginter, Bowman Chrome Sapphire. That sounds a little too cold for the trip, <laughs> to be worth that trip, Mr. MGH. But if you make a bunch of money, it's worth it. Ooh, in action, we got Kirby, for the Mariners. Nice. This was a really good three box break. Yan dog. There you go. On the board, my friend. Kirby in action. Those are not easy to hit. I do, Hoban. I have uh, I have one bracelet and I should have a whole bunch more. I think. I swear I don't, I genuinely, I honestly do not remember. I genuinely do not remember. I think I have, I have at least two. I might have three second places. I can't remember how many second places I have. I might have three. I either have two or three. And then I've got a third, a fourth, a fifth, a sixth. I've hit for the cycle. I probably made the final table 20 times or so. Maybe more. Sheffield on the relic piece. I don't really count because I'm not really a tournament player. I'm more I'm really a cash game player, Hoban. But I do I historically do play some tournaments at the World Series every summer. Maybe not this summer though. We shall see. Backer doesn't have any bracelets. But but he's but because he plays the high roller stuff, he may have more career cash money than me. Yeah, I won it when it actually was harder to win, Brewers. This doesn't fit. Thacker and I are both cash game players. Through and through. But we both play a few tournaments here and there. All right, we have some fun stuff here. This is a thick pack. This was a thick pack. So we have one base card in it, which I'm just going to show now. Well, one base card in the mini. Piano and a Giancarlo mini. Let's put those to the side. Because then we have music to your ears. 81 out of 170. Temple blocks. This is super rare. These are really hard to hit. A musical instrument card, that is going to go to less. What an amazing break for the non-baseball spot. Maybe, Travis, a few. How many hits per box in Ginter? Um, I don't remember. It's not an exact science, I don't think. I don't think it's an exact science. I honestly don't know if there's like a firm number. Somebody else in the chat may know. I don't know if there's an exact number on the Allen and Ginter, like, hits per box or whatever. I don't know. I've opened a lot of it, but... Cool instrument temple blocks. It is a super thick piece, that is for sure. It's a piece of the instrument. Genuine temple blocks. That's very cool. Three hits per box, says James. Manny, 
<laughs> when I when I saw that, I thought of the uh, the hidden temple. You know, my friend made the final table of the Aria the other day. The first the first um, the first event. There is Mr. Juan Soto on the N forty three small box top or top order box topper. Excuse me. Kershaw, box topper, dodges. Less crushing. <laughs> Less crush. Hulk smash. Daniel got lucky to get that W. You saw he spiked a four-outer on the river. And then Mr. Michael Trout for the Angels going to Big Air Jer. This was a really, really good three-box random team. I'm not going to recap those last three because they were the last things that I showed. But I'm going to recap everything else. Corbin. Corbin. Gunner. Wemby. Pilgrim Foils. Mandy Bell. Picardo on the Relic Pieces. Sheffield. Arrays also. Then we have Otani. It's a nice one on the Relic Piece. Joey Votto. And we had an unnumbered mini of Schultz, the Whipple Ball player. It's going to go to Les in the non-baseball spot. These are baseball. Garrett Cole on the Rip It for the Yanks. Going to Golfer Bass. Kirby in action for the Mariners. And then we had two really cool cards. We had a piece of music. Music to your ears. Temple Blocks. That'll go to Les. And we had last but definitely not least. Bryce Young, Inc. Out of Allen and Ginter. Also to Les. Have yourself a break. That was three boxes of Allen and Ginter. A random team event, number five. Our last one, we have no more Allen and Ginter left to do. Thank you guys for joining. Appreciate you. That was the break.